That night, all the other engines were asleep in their sheds. But not Thomas. Jack and Alfie had already loaded their trucks of rubble. If I shunt all the freight cars away to the sidings, the tracks will be clear in the morning. Then everyone will like me again. Thomas wanted to do something to get his old job back. So Thomas started to shunt the trucks away. Thomas worked very hard. He felt very pleased with himself. Then Thomas saw one last truck. It had rolled in front of an old mine shaft. I'll soon fix that, Thomas smiled. Then there was trouble. Thomas biffed the truck too hard. It rolled forward and disappeared into the mine. Cinders and ashes, exclaimed Thomas. Where did that truck go? Thomas rolled forward and peered inside. It was very dark. I must finish the job, he huffed. I'll soon find that truck. And Thomas puffed into the mine. It was very dark. Thomas was happy he had a bright lamp. He saw the truck rolling away. Then it disappeared around a bend. Bust my buffers, puffed Thomas. I'd better go after it. The slope was very steep. Thomas whizzed down it and clattered around the bend. Up Thomas whooshed and down he whizzed. Thomas whistled and whoa he cried. It was very scary, but it was very exciting. Thomas had almost caught up to the truck. You won't get away from me, he whistled happily. But Thomas didn't see the junction ahead. The truck whizzed down the right track and Thomas fed down the left. Thomas had lost the runaway truck. But his roller coaster ride was so much fun. Thomas soon forgot about the truck. Then there was trouble. The tunnel ahead was blocked. Oh no! cried Thomas. He applied his brakes, but it was too late. Thomas crashed straight through the block tunnel. With a mighty splash, Thomas landed in a pool of water. Oh, frizzling fireboxes! This tunnel is flooded! He gasped. It didn't feel fun anymore. It felt scary. I wish I was back at Great Waterton. He wished quietly. Thomas drifted slowly forward. There was nothing he could do. Cinders and ashes, Thomas gasped as he floated along the tunnel. He tooted as loudly as he could. Help! He cried, but there was no one there to hear his whistle. No one will find me now, Thomas wailed. No one will want to find me. The next morning, Stanley, James, Gordon, Percy, Edward, Henry, Emily, and Toby had arrived for work. Where's Thomas? Stanley asked. The engines looked. Thomas wasn't there. They all thought hard. No one knew where Thomas was. James was worried. He asked the little engines at the junction, have any of you seen Thomas? James puffed. None of the little engines had seen Thomas either. Percy called Jack and his team together. We can't find Thomas, Percy peeped. Do you know where he's gone? Jack and his team thought hard, but none of them had seen Thomas. 
Thomas drifted along the tunnel. He realized he was moving faster. Bust my buffers, he cried, as he raced through the tunnel. The fat controller was called. Sir, Thomas has disappeared, Edward puffed. No one knows where he is, whistled Emily. And I miss him, peeped Percy. This is very strange, boomed the fat controller. Everyone agreed, and they had to find Thomas at once. This is a state of emergency, he boomed importantly. Everyone must look for Thomas.